Hey guys, Robovac here with some more Halo 4 news. Earlier today, 343 Industries released a new video entitled Making of Halo 4 Return of the Forerunners. This video was released on Halo Waypoint and I will have a link in the description and or an annotation. I probably will do both because annotations are cool. Anyways, so yeah, we get to see tons of new stuff. They uh, talk a lot about the uh, design process in which they created all of the uh, new Promethean enemies, the uh, relationship between all of them and all the crazy design reiterations and such. It's a lot of great stuff. We also do see a few other things. Um, one of the things I, this, I'm um, just so you know, these clips will most likely be out of order than they are in the video because I'm talking about these as they are coming to my, my brain because my brain is doing stuff, believe it or not. Anyways, so the one thing that struck my mind first was that, yeah, we have Sentinels back. I'm not sure about Enforcers, though they did release a uh, Halo Mega Block set that included an Enforcer, and it would seem very odd if they didn't choose to do something with that. But yeah, we got new uh, Sentinels. These the ones look much sleeker, much more streamlined than their older counterparts. They have a, it looks like um, a new uh, top plate that is more aerodynamic, and they also have new little rudder things on the back. They're, they're going to be playing a a role in the uh, story, and uh, I'm guessing we'll see them mostly inside foreigner structures as opposed to outside, as it seems that the exterior is the Promethean domain. They also did a good deal of talking about how the uh, the design changes between... Well, actually, hold on, let me back up a second. Halo lesson. All right, so there are two classes in the Forerunner Society. There were the, uh, the Builders, and there were the um, Prometheans. Yeah, it's uh, obvious. Yeah, so... Um, the thing they were talking about is how the uh, design changes are quite different from them. The When you look at the uh, builder designs, everything's more uh, angular, more square, everything feels solid and all that stuff. While the Promethean designs, they're designed to be super streamlined, super threatening looking and all this crazy stuff. And uh, going to the Knights design, we see they went through several reiterations of the design, some of which I am very glad did not end up being the Knights. Um, yeah, and they also talked about how the... Uh, how all these new enemies behave with each other, the uh, crawlers, the knights, the watchers, how they all have this this combat thing, that this relationship between all of these different characters. When a, when a uh, knight is being threatened, it uh, calls f a bunch of uh, crawlers will rush in to uh, just try to distract you from it. If you take down a knight, a watcher will resurrect it. If... Uh, if you kill the knight and the watch is still alive, it will either resurrect the knight or it will call out a bunch of crawlers. You know, yeah, it's it's this whole thing. Knight brings out watcher, watcher brings out crawler. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. We also do see a. I'm a, from what I recall, this was not a a, a test shot. It was shown with uh, several other known um, knight classes. There's a knight that has this ring of hard light in front of his head. I'm not quite sure how this class will work, if it's acting as a uh, shield or some sort of sighting equipment, unknown. Also, we do get to see a, uh, a marine, he, who is sadly deceased, and we do see his cool helmet and everything. He looks really cool, even though he's dead. And also, the uh, knight has this little laser thing that's going around, which I'm guessing is a... Uh, is an idle state feature that they have where this little laser is just going to fly around pointing at everything. Okay, and they also did talk about, uh, briefly, about the uh, elites and grunts and all that kind of jazz. Not really all that much they said about that. We did see a new animation of the uh, jackal, which was pretty cool. It I, To be perfectly honest, though, the uh, design did catch me off guard for the jackal. I do think that it is a good choice for them. The uh, design... Okay, so first off, the Jackals are a pirating race. They're a, uh, you know, scallywag and rustlers and all that arty har har stuff. And um, and they, to me, it gives them, them that feel. It, it makes them feel rough, but not at the same time not too burly or strong. It's, it seems right to me. We also see uh, <laughs> some really, really cool animations of various assassinations, various assassinations for the uh, Forerunners. We see a new assassination for the... Uh, actually, this may be an older one we've already seen. But we do see an assassination for the Knight. We see an assassination for the uh, for the uh, Watcher, which is <laughs> really cool. It looks like you grab hold of that thing, swing it around a bit, then stab it in the face with a knife. And you also see a assassination of the uh, Crawler, where it looks like you're riding it like a small cow small lethal cow that shoots lasers out of its face.
But yeah, so cool stuff there, cool stuff there. We also do see some of the weapon design, it reiterations, all that kind of stuff. We uh, see how they went through several, 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 several weapon design choices. We do see, uh, I'm not sure, if the, I actually don't believe this has been shown yet, but we do see an overcharged bolt shot in action against a uh, former thing, and it looks like it has a really cool scatter shot shotgunny effect, which is really awesome. We do see a um, whole bunch of stuff. We did a uh, weapon in the uh, pre-design stage that looked really cool. Sadly, it's not in our, our the uh, build as it was only a test bed for what they would later develop. But hey, you know, no real problem there. We also see a pretty awesome animation with a uh, Promethean Knight bashing a uh, I'm get what it looked like an elite off of a ghost. Really cool. We get to see some uh, vehicles as well. We see um, a, a tank in a uh, what looks like a hangar or some, of some sort. Um, looks like the design hasn't really changed all that much from Halo Reach. And at this point, I'm very, very, very certain that there's going to be no change to the tank design, but we do get a better shot of the uh, new uh, Pelican, which looks very interesting. It, uh, I don't know, so it's, it feels different. It, it has more angular features, but at the same time it has some things sticking out of it in some places, so I'll have to get a closer look at, at that to see if I personally enjoy it or not, but um, yeah. And in the uh, a desert, it looks like a deserty map where we saw the uh, previous shots of the gigantic mammoth driving around. We see this very odd moving forerunner structure in, in the background that, to me, reminds me of a uh, almost of a scarab thing. So I don't know if that's going to be some sort of killed by the guardians mumbo jumbo there, or if it's going to be just a very crazy aesthetic piece. But yeah, that's a, a lot of stuff we got today, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is this is about all I have on it right now, I believe. And let, I'll, if I catch anything else, I will indeed create another video to showcase it for you guys. Um, yeah, this has been Rob Vaquero. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like or favorite if you found this video helpful or informative in any shape or form whatsoever. And just please, please, please subscribe for more Halo 4 news and product reviews and very soon gameplay as I will be getting an Elgato pretty soon, which will be awesome. It'll be so cool. So, um, also, please, please, in the comment section below, um, please state if you would rather... I'm thinking about two games right now to either do. Either A, starting to record the Halos in chronological order, or B, doing some Fallout New Vegas. I was thinking about doing the Fallout New Vegas first because I've wanted to do that since I got the game because I love that game. And uh, doing the uh, Halo stuff little bit later in order to uh, set up for Halo 4. It'd be following the games chronologically, starting from Halo Wars, going to Halo Comet Evolved, but I think I will do Halo um, Anniversary instead of that one. Then we go to Halo 2, Halo 3, it was actually Halo 2, Halo 3 ODST, then Halo 3. And then we'll jump to, uh, you know, what? Oh my gosh, did I just do that? Okay, sorry. Halo Wars, then Halo Reach, then Halo Anniversary, then Halo 2, then Halo 3 ODST, then Halo 3, and then then, then what we've all been waiting for, guys. Then then we get Halo 4. It's going to be amazing. So amazing. It's amazing. So amazing. It's amazing, yes. So um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Robo Vaquero. I hope you guys have a great day and everything. And um, thank you for watching and adios.